there are not one but two promising new findings today which could mean big help for people fighting addiction, not just alcohol, but the more than six million Americans who've abused prescription drugs. And the question has always been, can you block the craving? ABC's Lindsay Davis on a possible breakthrough. Imagine going from this to this. I've never felt better, probably never looked better. What if a shot or implant could help alcoholics and prescription drug addicts the same way insulin treats diabetes or Prozac aids depression? Vivitrol is the first injectable drug to treat alcohol dependence. It's been life altering for tens of thousands of alcoholics like Patricia Goodall Hamill. It has been a godsend. It's like my lottery ticket. Today, the FDA approved the drug to treat the two to five million Americans addicted to painkillers. Considering the success of Vivitrol with alcoholics, was it a no-brainer to then use it Absolutely. for people who are... Absolutely. If you can get it in and addicts don't have to choose whether to take it or not, it's likely going to have a significant impact. Carolyn Alfieri is a recovering painkiller addict. So I took one of my pills. About 15 minutes later, I found what I was looking for. So that like high she injected, got wouldn't happen with Vivitrol. Here's how it works. The narcotic is injected once a month and releases over time. It's able to reduce the desire to drink or pop a pill by blocking the neurotransmitters in the brain associated with producing a high. Vivitrol leaves patients with one decision a month instead of one every day. Trials are underway for an implantable version of buprenorphine, another drug to treat addiction. In that case, the daily struggle would only happen twice a year. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.